HD. You're watching K Gun 9 on your side. News at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stella Inger. Guy has the night off. New revelations tonight about the alleged cheating on Ames tests in a Nogales Middle School, Wade Carpenter. An independent investigator's report is now in the hands of the Attorney General's office. Now, your side's Valerie Cavazos has been on this story since it first broke. She joins us now with the startling details. Valerie. Yeah, the Arizona Department of Education ordered the district to find out why a high number of 2014 Ames test answers of seventh graders were changed from wrong to right answers. The district hired an independent investigator, Renee Diaz, a former superintendent, principal, and teacher from Phoenix. Diaz recently reported to the board. It wasn't the teachers or students who cheated. It wasn't district administrators. So who does he suspect cheated? This, the investigator believes, was a motivating factor. The state issued A-plus school distinction, a point of pride and prestige for districts, as well as the National Title I Award distinction displayed on a monument, accomplishments that tie to the increased federal and state funds. The A-plus grade and sign now gone at Wade Carpenter Middle School. According to the 27-page report, Diaz found substantial evidence of manipulation of test answers of 7th graders. The ADE invalidated 47 reading and 37 math test answers. Many of the students who scored a meets or exceeds on 2014 Ames tests received a D or an F in their corresponding class in the spring semester. And it wasn't the first time Diaz discovered a cheating pattern that dates back to 2010. In the 2011 Ames test results, four Wade Carpenter students went from falls far below in their sixth grade scores to exceeds in their seventh grade score, but earned an F or a D in their eighth grade algebra class. He reported there was no evidence that teachers and students plotted and carried out an elaborate plan to cheat. He reported in all probability the manipulation occurred behind closed doors after the answer sheets were turned in. Diaz could not pinpoint who's responsible, but agrees with the ADE that adults intervened and listed those who had the most opportunity to change the answers. The principal, assistant principal, library media specialist, school counselor, computer technician, and secretary. Diaz reported witnesses spotted over the weekend following the 2014 Ames testing cars belonging to employees responsible for the Ames material, and three are later overheard coordinating a denial that they were there if questioned. In 2012, window blinds were drawn in the library and individuals were working on the Ames materials in the afternoon, and students testified the principal gave them answers to the Ames test. If the report proves right, the Nogales case may resemble, in part, the largest cheating scandal in American history. After an Atlanta investigation found 178 teachers and principals conspired to cheat on standardized tests that resulted in several convicted on racketeering charges. Diaz reported all the individuals listed deny any part in the alleged cheating on Ames tests. The Attorney General's office tells me they're looking into the two reports they received from the ADE and the district. And you can check out the investigator's entire report. A link is on our website, kagani.com. Back to you.